Dhaka, the capital of Bangladesh. It's home to wretched poverty, endless traffic, and one of the fastest growing financial services anywhere in the world. It's called Bcash. Setting up a Bcash account is free. All you need is a mobile phone, and 100 million Bangladeshis have one. Transactions cost so little, services like money transfers and electronic payments are suddenly affordable. That's why the Gates Foundation is a Bcash investor. Banking this cheap can change lives in a country this poor. Well, banking is, is more fundamental than I realized. And there have been attempts, microfinance groups, uh, cooperatives, but the transaction fees were always too high. Until we get those services down with very low fees, onto the, the cell phone in digital mode, uh, then banking will only be for those who are better off. CEO Kamal Kadir and his brother Iqbal founded Bcash in 2011. They had five million dollars, profits from a previous startup, and a plan to bring mobile money to the unbanked. This is the country which has 200 billion dollar economy right now, okay. The country was growing, so uh, it's not that it's only, only charity, it's, it's pure economic opportunity. From two million accounts at the end of its first full year in operation, usage has exploded to 17 million and counting. Workers who used to take time off or hire agents to carry cash back to their villages can now wire it instantly with a few keystrokes. Rebecca Sultana works in quality control at this t-shirt factory in Dhaka. She makes about $85 a month. Bcash isn't just for money transfers. It's a payroll system, a mobile wallet, and a savings account. All digital, all affordable, all regulated by the central bank. Do you worry at all about monopolism? Bcash is by far the fastest growing of these mobile service providers. We really thought about it. So that's why we have given about 28 licenses to the 28 banks. We want few more to come up, but it's a regulatory kind of, you know, hand-holding, you know. On the streets of Dhaka, Bcash is everywhere. The company has more than 100,000 agents across the country. Withdrawals are how it makes money. They cost 1.85%. The Gates Foundation initially saw Bcash as a case for charity and gave it a grant. Then in 2014, it became an investor. I actually think Bcash is probably our best investment. There's such a clear alignment between the success of the business and the goals of the foundation in terms of reaching poor people. We're not going to reach the number of people here by just giving away money. If Kamal can build a business and if we could put money behind this great entrepreneur with this great idea and business plan, then our ability to reach poor people here is just dramatically different. It doesn't happen very often. A company improving life for the poor and drawing praise from philanthropists while making money at the same time. Bcash turned a profit in 2014. Now Kadir has even bigger ambitions. Loans, insurance, maybe international expansion. She can sell her thread on this thing. She doesn't have to depend on, on some middleman. Uh, and somebody will be seeing it somewhere in the world. Okay, so, so that is the most powerful thing that is happening here. And, and we are just seeing a tip of the iceberg.